Hi guys, I am Keegs, your host for this web series here, and I am back with Pastor Jay of Hope City, the new church plant helping persons to find their hope in Christ regardless of what you face. Come as you are, no perfect people allowed. All right, so for those of you who have been watching, thank you for once again tuning in. Continue to share, comment, like all the posts on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're new, feel free to go back and look at all of our previous content. Now, last week, we would have had a conversation about forgiveness and looking at it from the place of not having it stunt your actions, but guide your actions, all right? So that you'll act not from a place of hatred, right? But really from one of understanding and forgiveness, trying to find a way forward. This week, though, Trinidad and Tobago has had one of the most interesting ones in relation to COVID-19, right? We have seen our numbers start to jump slowly until now. It's just leaps and bounds, right? We have cases at the numbers that no one would have expected, definitely would not have wanted. And we now have persons even more fearful than before just for their livelihood. Uh, we have persons who now are fearful for their jobs, right? We have schools being cancelled right now, so we have to wonder how it is we're going to go about the new school term, yeah. all right? So, Jay, you know, today, I know we have more than just a conversation, it's more a message. Yeah. You know, for the people as we struggle, we all will be struggling at some point in some way at this time. Sure. So, what advice do you have for our viewers, for the people in general, as we all try to cope with what's happening now? Yes. Definitely. Um, Keith, just one word, man. Faith. Um, faith. And I just, it's, like you said, it's not really just a conversation, but I wanted to just encourage people today. Um, three ways I want you to choose faith in this season. Just like you said, it takes all those things. And I think quite rightly, one of the greatest parts of this season is that it affects every one of us. You know, it's, there's no one not affected. Um, and so three ways I want you to choose faith. And I encourage everyone, faith over fear, faith over our feelings, and faith, faith for our future. And in you know, the, those two we will look at next week. But this week, I just wanted to talk about faith over fear. Because I think for a lot of people in this season, just with everything you mentioned just now, Keith, um, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of what if, what happens next, you know, what could yeah. happen. And so faith over fear and um, Romans 10, 17 says, you know, so faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And I want to just start with a simple definition to work with. What, you know, what is faith? And I'll just say it's complete trust in someone or something. And in this case, trust in God, right? So complete trust. Like, let's just complete use that as in someone or something. All right. yeah. Just a basic definition. Um, and I think we all could understand that. Um, so when we say choose faith, then I'm saying choose to trust God over the fear then you know what i mean yeah. and even though the economy shaken and probably even crumbling around us so jobs at risk some some people already lost their jobs kids um the faith is to believe that god is still our provider that the economy doesn't determine what god can do right even though covid is rampant and like you said the numbers just jumping it is scary i mean um, we know people are affected directly with COVID right now. Um, and even though with that, God is my healer. He's the one who protects. He's the one that sustains life, you know. So I'm saying choose um, to put your trust in God over all these things we see. All right. But I like the um, nice simple definition for sure because, you know, just like so many things um, in and around us, we just have... Uh, a kind of vague idea of what it is and then to just go along thinking that we understand it completely until the question comes along. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, so faith, right? Um, you said it was a complete trust in someone or something. All right. Um, 
So we we here, we still live in life, right? And I always like to bring it back to the man on the streets and every day, you know, having to face these struggles. For for us, right? What what does it really take to have that faith in God? Because we have a lot of people, at least in my opinion, who believe in God. All right? Yeah. But is it enough to just say, I believe in God or I have faith in God? Because then a lot of the times, the same people who have this faith, <laughs> you know, or have unquote, this right. belief, yeah, you find that they, 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 their behavior or their mindset, you know, doesn't really follow suit. Sometimes they are the most worried, the most bothered that they have, <laughs> you know, <laughs> no way forward in their head because yeah, that is when they realize that, okay, as much as you're saying it, like something, I said, right, you right. know, so what what more do we need other than just that? that just that head, that head belief or, the, or just yeah. that, that state that I like believe in God. Think that they believe. Yeah. I, I, the key for me is like, you know, I, I was I'm laughing not because it's funny but because I know exactly what you're referring to you know um, I would say the key for me in making that belief really fade to say that you're actually trusting God because we could believe in God and not trust God um, mm-hmm. okay that, that that's the difference beliefs could change you could believe something mm-hmm. today and but when you have faith is is putting that trust that complete trust. So it's a little bit different. Um, so I would say the key to that is know the word of God. So I've, I've said this in, on this um, series before. The word of God and who God is, is you can't separate. So I would say for practical application keys, you had to know the word of God. Because guess what? When you read the word of God, just like we said earlier, faith comes from right hearing and hearing the word of God. When you continually learn and read and regurgitate the word of God, here's what happens. It becomes so much a part of us. Now, when the trials hit us, it's, we always say this. When hard times hit, what really inside has come out. Yeah. Yeah. And so when when COVID gets out of hand, like it is right now, when it might get close to home, when the, the um, finances drop more or the economy gets harder, if you have the word of God, that's what surfaces, not our anxiety. We will have fear still, you know, because that's a human reaction. Yeah. And a yeah. good one to keep us in check. But we could choose the faith when, because the word of God actually comes out now. And what the word of God is, is really his testimonies of how faithful God has been. So you would yeah. read about people who needed that provision when there was nothing, no way they could be provided for and God came through. So when you start to remember, okay, God was faithful then. I mean, and I would say it this way, Keeks, just think back on our own lives. If it wasn't for the faithfulness of God, we probably wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't be mm-hmm. having this conversation, you know. Yeah. I know God's, God was faithful in keeping me through a bad accident that could have take, taken my life. I could look yeah. back. I show you how your stories as well, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, right? but... And, and that's the thing when you look back so look into the word of God read about his faithfulness there trust me it becomes part of you so that's my key takeaway know the word of God um, and yeah that's where it would start that's where I would begin to just move from belief to really have our faith so once again folks we're not saying here that fear is something that you need to strike <laughs> from your own side <laughs> all right fear is something that's natural fear is something that happens it's, it's actually necessary for you to be able to respond to different situations so right? Bible don't, too, eh? yeah, don't just let the fear run wild and take control all right and for those of us who are at that place where we're not quite sure we stand with our faith just like pastor j said go to the world you know Always find out with the find you is the strength and that faith. Yeah. All right. So um, we're getting ready to leave them here again. She after another one of these nice conversations. We're still in this situation. We're not quite sure when we're gonna <laughs> be out. <laughs> all right. We're just asking everyone to please be a part. All right. Yeah. Follow all the guidelines. Keep your really? distance. Try not to garden large groups. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Yeah. Right. And just just 
keep being cautious, right? Look at different situations and see the threat and respond to it. All right. Anything you want to leave them with before we go today? I would say, um, kids, for those who really want to, you know, um, choose faith over fear. Um, that would mean something different for you to get to know God's word. It may mean changing your morning routine. It might mean um, spending less time on the socials, less time in front of the TV, maybe, and less time playing Warzone. I don't know. That. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. Right, indeed. But, but wherever it means for, for us, I think it's different. All of us, our stories are different. All of our challenges are different. But wherever it is, um, I would say whatever it takes, make that decision today to spend more time in God's way. Whatever it means, you could definitely do it. And I love it. Faith over fear, I want to shout out um, belated birthday greetings to your wife, Keeks. I know all they celebrated hey. yesterday. <laughs> um, and I love it because that's faith over fear. In the midst of all the craziness, we yeah, celebrate yeah, life. Yeah. So please convey our blessings and our love um, from the Hope City family. All right? Definitely. Definitely. Faith over fear, yo. In the midst sometimes, of celebrate. There are them situations there with your wife. You have to make sure things happen. And sometimes it's fear. Running in front of them. You don't want to deal with no problems when you're yeah. so nice Happy nice wife, happy life, life, you know, kids. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I love right, it. Guys. Right, so this is Keegs, your host here yeah, again with Pastor G. Hope to see you all next week as you have another one of these conversations with Hope City. Once again, if anyone would like to be part of the Hope City team, check us on Instagram, check us on Facebook. Sure contact us and we'll lead you in the right direction all right so that's it for this week guys don't forget come as you are no perfect people allowed see you next week